Hi, this is Gwen Reyes with the Dallas International Film Festival. I'm here sitting with Arnaban Roy, the director of Audacity that's playing tonight. Thank you so much for sitting with me this morning. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. So you came in last night in the, in the film screen with the shorts block last night. How did the screening go? You know what, the screening went much better than I thought it would because my film's an Indian film. Mm -hmm. It's in Bengali language and it's a dark comedy. And usually comedies do not, or let's put it this way, comedies translate the least across languages because humor is very culture specific. Right. Uh, but everybody were, yeah, everybody was laughing. Well, it's a film about um, a daughter who, like, you know, takes her own little tiny revenge on her parents in the sense of just kind of driving them insane. I think that, that would translate no matter what. It's like we were talking about earlier. Um, so what, what made you, because you wrote the screenplay, what made you kind of uh, inspired to do the film? Uh, first of all, uh, the first part of the question, I, mean, I, I thought I was a pretty bad kid growing up. <laughs> it seems there are a lot of bad <laughs> kids growing up all over the place. So yeah, it is universal. Uh, you know, it, and on a larger, more well, philosophical uh, viewpoint is that it's always, you know, the powerful versus the powerless. Mm -hmm. When the powerless, I mean, that translates across childhood, world politics. Whenever people don't have power, they figure out one way to get to the weakest point of the other, the powerful. And in my case, you know, it was the fear, oh, is she going to be alive <laughs> behind that closed door? And she manipulates that, and that's how she wins. Um, as far as, you know, I forgot the other part of the question. Oh, well, what, I mean, as you said, you were a, a, a troublesome child as when you were growing up. Um, and so, like, what made you want to tell, like, that, a, a girl story like that? Uh, I basically wanted to make fun of my family, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest with you. And um, I, so a lot of the stuff, it is nothing that, uh, is directly taken from my childhood mm -hmm. because I was much worse than the film was <laughs> <laughs> as a kid. But uh, uh, I just wanted to capture the f absurdity and the the funny uh, behind all this. Um, how when you're in it, it doesn't seem funny, but you know, l looked at it from a, a different point of view, a different vantage point, it is ridiculously funny. Well, I'm sure for her it was hilarious but we spend time with the parents, and so it's like we, we get to see both sides of that. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, in my film, I'm, once she goes inside the door, you don't see her right. till the very end, and the audience also doesn't know what happened, and there's a twist in the plot. There's a plot point where it actually becomes serious, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I had to bring in some kind of serious possibility of something crazy going on, something really wrong going on, because that is what the parents are going through in their head. Mm -hmm. uh, has she taken those sleeping pills that belongs to me? Did I leave the sleeping pills on the other side of the room? Where, you know, those kind of fears that I think every parent goes through. Right. And obviously kids know how to manipulate that. And kids them. know how to manipulate that yeah. and, and make it hilarious because it's like, well, you know, they yelled at me and they wouldn't, you know, didn't want me to play my music or whatever, whatever a 13 year old is upset about. Yeah. And and I think, I don't know, it's, it's funny because we were talking earlier about how when you were growing up, it was just like trouble all the time and just kind of mm -hmm. like seeing what sort of bush buttons you could push and then having the chance of kind of reenacting that on film must have been super exciting for you. It was. Uh, what was actually also interesting was that uh, we ended up shooting one street away from uh, my childhood home. Really? Yeah. It, it, was just, it was not our first choice of location, but we had five location changes because of you know sound problems. And finally, when we started shooting, um, well, we locked this location about two weeks before we actually shot. Uh, ironically, it was just one street, and my entire family, <clears throat> my uncles and aunts who were my enemies growing up, <laughs> they, <laughs> they were out to get you. They, they were actually beside me, supporting me, helping me, feeding me, uh, you know, making sure I, my bed was, you know, I left my bed in a, you know, in a rush. Yeah. <laughs> they neatened up my bed, and so it was very funny. Um, I haven't been back home since then, and I haven't met them face to face. Uh, it'll be interesting to go and see. What I was gonna say, have they had? When, what are you gonna feel like if they when they finally see the film? I hope not too many people relate to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in trouble. I know. Again. They'd, they'd be like, I knew what you did. <laughs> <laughs>
so. Um, so what what can people where can people I know that the, the the film just sell, and so where can people have a chance if they don't get to see it at Diff? What what other options do they have to see Audacity? Uh, yeah, the film just sold uh, to a national network in Australia, SBS, mm -hmm. uh, and. I was told that it probably is going to sell in Japan too. Don't know. Nothing has been finalized like the Australian one has been. Uh, but because it's sold and because it's in, in a real distribution, mm -hmm. I cannot put it up on the web anywhere right. because of, you know, that's going against the contract that I signed. Um, however, the, if somebody writes to me, and some people have, um, and give me their land addresses. Uh, I'll make sure somebody in the office sends out the DVD because it's you know it's a DVD. It's cheap. Um, is it okay if I give out the website? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the website where you one can uh, find information about how to contact us is www.audacitythefilm.com. Okay. It's one word, Audacity the Film. I think. Um, What's really, what's really hilarious, and it goes back to what we were talking about, about how it, you were concerned that the comedy wouldn't translate, being an Indian film and coming, mm -hmm. to the, and coming to America, and maybe that the comedy level wouldn't translate. And then it gets sold in Australia, and maybe in Japan. I mean, those are even more, it's, it's insane, <laughs> because that's I know. so many different boundaries to kind of jump over. I know, it's, it, is, it is funny. Um, uh, as I said, you know, I made this film I don't even know why I made this film this way. I, I, <laughs> you just I, made it. You're I just like, made it, yeah. I actually made this film <laughs> as a backhanded hug to my dad who passed away. He was the only sane guy in the family. He <laughs> didn't have immediate knee-jerk reaction uh, like the rest of the family members. So it doesn't sound like he needed to. It sounded like everybody else would get there Everybody before. was uh, yeah. else. And he was like, okay, let me play my music. He was a musician. So, uh, so the film is actually dedicated to him. Uh, I made the film, I tried to make the film something in the style of the, you know, 60s and 70s Indian neorealism mm -hmm. um, because, you know, that was the period that my dad grew up and perhaps, you know, I was influenced by a lot of filmmakers from that time. Uh, I mean, I was a little kid who didn't understand anything at that right. time, but, or I was not even born. But later on, I found that style quite uh, interesting. And so we, we, we shot the film with that flavor in mind. Well, and it's a beautiful film. I Thank mean, you. that's what's really great. It's colorful and, it, and it's got that, that vibe to it, that exactly what Thank you're saying. You. It's just, it, it, it captures a moment. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Just won the Audience Choice Award in Los Angeles. So. Great. Well, mm -hmm. and it's in competition now here, too. Yeah, here, too. <laughs> Fingers <Well>, crossed. <laughs> well, Arnabon, thank you so much for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. And good luck with the screening tonight. I know it did really well but last night, but it's good to see it's playing again tonight. Thank you so much. Uh, Diff has been a blast. Good. I'm so Thank glad. you. Thank you. <laughs>